So I guess how big of a relief was it to have this decision made and, and then, you know, you can kind of just focus on what, you, what it is that you do? Uh, it's a, it's re actually a big relief, actually, just uh, get out the way, focus on my schoolwork, my team this year, this year coming up, summer, workouts, all that stuff, it was a big relief. And why LSU? Um, the hospitality down there, when we first, me and my mom got off the plane, uh, Coach Hawkins came to come pick us up, I just felt like it was just like connection right when we just started talking, um, and then Coach O and um, Coach Craig, they were just like wonderful guys. I love the players. I love the, love the school. The academic center was like fantastic. And the coaches just, just all good. Who was your primary recruiter for them? Uh, I mean, yeah, Coach Craig. Coach Craig. And uh, so when you made the call or whatever it was you, they, to announce that you were going to be committing to them, yeah. what was the reaction? Oh, it was, it was hysterical. Um, Coach, Coach O was really excited. Coach Craig was pumped up. Coach Hawkins was really excited, so it was pretty. It was pretty cool, cool experience. How hard is it to turn down schools like Alabama and Georgia? Oh man, uh, it was super. It was super hard to turn down Alabama. You know, with their reputation and stuff like that, it was. It was hard. And how serious of consideration were like Michigan, Michigan State? Uh, Michigan. I've been down to Michigan uh, plenty of times, so it was like definitely in the long run. So, I, but I've never got an offer from them. Michigan State, I've been down a couple times, been there at camps and stuff like that, so yeah. yeah. And uh, I guess, you know, when, are you planning on signing in the early signing period or would you wait until later on? Um, I'll probably wait. Yeah, I'll probably wait until later on. And then, you know, what's next for you, I guess, as far now that this decision is you're not going to be making these trips no. and all those things, so what is it that you're really going to be focusing on now? Uh, school. Most definitely, that's the one thing I've got to work on, pushing hard, getting that uh, stuff out the way so I don't have to worry about anything. And uh, do I understand correctly that, that you maybe have family down in Louisiana? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, my uh, aunt stays down in Baton Rouge, so that was a that was a big, big uh, part of my decision. So yeah, that was pretty cool. So. And what is it about Baton Rouge that kind of... Is there anything in particular that makes her feel really at home besides having the family there? And just what was it specifically that? I love the food to me. The crawfish is wonderful. But it's just the people down there was just like so welcoming and like just felt like home. I didn't, I just didn't want to leave. So that's what, that's what we job. And what's, what's it like um, just being down in the SEC atmosphere? And what do you anticipate it being like on like game days and just the whole college football season. I mean, SAC, SEC football was like, it's just crazy down there. Like, I went down there for the spring game. It was like, felt like a game day experience, tailgating, all that. So like, SEC football was like, really like what I felt like in love with. So that's why. And I'm sure, you know, anytime you have a, a recruit like yourself, considering schools like that, like the SEC schools, obviously long-term goals are, you know, probably playing the NFL, that kind of yes, thing. Sir. How do you think that they might be able to help you do that? Uh, I feel like SEC is like just like a grit, like just a grit uh, conference. So I feel like if I go in there and work, put the work in, compete every day with the top uh, best, uh, best of my ability, that NFL gets there.